We are back here on Carolina Women. We are being joined by Emily Batty. Thank you. She is Miss South Carolina with USA National Miss. I feel like we have a camaraderie now. Yes, we really, absolutely. We, we were just laughing. We were both neuroscience geeks. Who knew? Yes. I absolutely love that. I love it. Talk to me a little bit about USA National Miss and yes, you're representing South Carolina. Yes, ma'am. So USA National Miss is a scholarship organization in South Carolina, but also across the nation. It encourages women to get out in the community and inspire others as well as be positively empowered. So you have your own sort of platform and then is there a platform for the National Miss yes. organization? So USA National Miss has their national platform, Inspire. It's about um, being a compassionate, kind person and also getting out in your environment and taking care of it. Mm -hmm. And I also have my own initiative called Stop the Silence. It is a global nonprofit um, and it's about childhood sexual assault awareness. What's really interesting is you shared that this is a full time job for you this yes. whole year and you yes, were just crowned when? I was just crowned on February 2nd, so this is brand new to me. So talk to us a little bit about what the year will look like. What will be your role? Absolutely. So I'm starting off my elementary school tour with Hilton Head Elementary tomorrow. And That'll be, be so fun. I can't yes. imagine what I'm the so kids. Excited. Oh, the kids are going to be mesmerized. So I'm going to be traveling across the states of South Carolina and Tennessee, where I attend college, and speaking to elementary schools, meeting with governors and mayors, and talking about um, proclamations and implementing Inspire into school systems, and also just going to community events and having some fun. I think that's. Is it five days a week, seven days a week for you? It's all, all. really as much so as a college student it can be a little bit difficult mm -hmm. but as, as, as much as I want to give into it that's what I'm going to give and I have made a goal for myself this year to do everything I possibly can do to get out in my community and make a true and lasting impact so that's what I'm going to do. Talk to me if you will about the national um, competition that's when is that and where? It's July 14th and it is in Orlando Florida it's that entire week. So talk to me what would that actually look like what are some of the criteria what does the pageant itself look like? Yeah so you compete in the being out competition, a runway competition, which is my personal favorite. Okay. And then an interview where you get to talk about the impact that you've made throughout your year and just a little bit about yourself. One of the things that you said that was really interesting was it's really a lot about relationship building Absolutely. for you and the other folks um, that you compete, compete with. Yes, so it's really about pageantry is not about competing with another woman. It's about being the best version of yourself because okay. at the end of the day, it's subjective and we have to remember this and know that mm -hmm. whoever's the best person for the job at that time to that panel of judges is going to mm -hmm. win and it doesn't matter you know, at the end of the day, a year from now, it's not gonna matter. So what matters is that we empower each other, that we encourage each other, and that we can really make an impact in our communities. Emily, how did you get involved in pageantry? I got involved in pageantry because I was shy when I was little, mm -hmm. um, but I did enjoy theater and being on the stage, and I wanted to learn how to speak. I was just too scared to do it. Okay. And so my mom put me in pageantry, and it was something that I just absolutely fell in love with, speaking on stage and speaking to people, so that's something that I just continued with. For people who are interested in doing something like you you do, were you coached? Did you listen to things? Did you have mentors? How does all that work? I absolutely love this question. Um, my mentor, her name is Miranda Hatcher, mm -hmm. and she's the one who encouraged me to start Stop the Silence. She is one of the most amazing women that I've ever met in my life. She has a gift for teaching girls how to be truly confident in themselves, how to empower others, how to inspire others. And she's just someone that I want to be like. And so she, it was just a God thing. She ended up, I messaged her when I was younger and just said, hey, like I want to start something and I don't know how. And mm -hmm. she, taken off from there, she's one of my best friends now. And I just love her so much. Well, you were talking before, it gives you agency over things that you've experienced. Because you were talking about your platform and that is a way for you to, um, process and share your experiences absolutely. but help others to absolutely destigmatize exactly it's a journey and i think childhood sexual assault is something that's not talked about enough correct and so i wanted to be the role model that i needed when i was a little girl and that's something that i continue to do whether or not i have a crown and banner it's a life mission of mine and so that's definitely something that i want to do for the rest of my life well you're tremendously articulate i really appreciate you taking time out in the early morning and you look so gorgeous <laughs> you, you so really much. do thank you stay with us there's a lot more to come here on Carolina Women.